You don't normally invite heroin addicts to your party, but that's exactly what they're doing in Hamilton tonight. A weekend of concert prayers and counseling is aimed at helping those in the throes of heroin addiction. Nine on your side's John Genovese is live with a massive effort involving 30 local churches. John. Tanya, live music, free food, and a message of hope. Now, things cleared up here just over an hour ago, but earlier tonight, this parking lot transformed into a celebration and cheering on those who need it most. At Hope Over Heroin, everyone has a story. My addiction started about 11 years old. I'm a recovering addict. I was suicidal. I wanted to blow my brains out. Stories in the form of songs, praise, and confession. Sandra Willis has been fighting addiction for 16 years. From 1998 to 2003, I didn't draw a sober breath. Both her parents were addicts. That's her dad, Pastor Josh Willis, kicking off the event. Willis herself now working as a nurse and counselor, and tonight proudly sober. Today, I celebrated six months and two and a half weeks. Tony Couch has been sober for three years, but even he doesn't know how. He's lost three kids to foster care because of his addiction, and their mother overdosed. I was only, I was only out of treatment 11 days. Yeah, but I stayed clean. For Jody Thomas, it's sobriety she's counting in days. I think when when I was in active use, it was more like I wasn't a person anymore. I Jody now on day 138, but everyone we spoke with says one sober day is a start. Every addicted day is a blessing, and they're here hoping to pass on their story to someone ready for help. Is one addict working with another? That is the most important thing. Keeps me sober, and it gets them on the right track. That's why I do what I do. And what she's doing appears to be working. We saw hugs and smiles from nearly everyone in attendance tonight. And again, things wrapping up here on Sunday evening with a prayer march through downtown Hamilton. Reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.